Buffalo Bill, the murderer in Silence of the Lambs, cornered Clarice, the detective, in the pitch black basement. Mm -hmm. He was wearing night vision goggles. Yes. And he had a hand cannon pointed at her back. Where are you going with this? (laughs) Now, my question today is obviously quite speculative, Freddy. But I think that maybe he could have killed him. (laughs) (laughs) Now, assuming that that did happen, what would have happened to the girl stuck down the well? Okay. Freddie, what if Buffalo Bill did kill Clarice that day? Would Catherine Martin, the lady down the well, would she have survived? I think that there are five questions, so we're going to have to be quicker, that need answering to determine the fate of Catherine. Mm-hmm. We have 10 minutes to come to a decision. Freddie, are you ready? I'm Ooh, keeping that. I'm ready, Freddie. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> okay. I think the first thing we need to ask ourselves is who are the relevant people and where are they? Okay. So why don't you get a start with the relevant people for us? So her mum, the senator, and that team. Okay. The, is it Callahan? That's not his name. Well, I was thinking Catherine would be the one of the first ones we've mentioned. Oh, I thought you meant relevant other people. Okay. I, I mean, people who, sorry, people who could be relevant to the outcome of this scenario right now, immediately following the death of Stalin. Okay. So, he shot her in his basement with his night vision goggles on. Who's going to save her or is she going to die or what? So she she's there. She's got the dog still. She's still got the dog. So a little context. She is got the dog as a hostage. In there, so I'm counting that as a second character. So you've got Catherine Martin, mm-hmm. the hostage in the well. You've got Precious, the dog. You've mm-hmm. got Bill. You've got Dead Agent Starling. Dead Agent Starling, I didn't count because I can't see her having an impact on the outcome. <laughs> Unless Bill changes tact and thinks I'm going to use her for part of my suit. Well, that is definitely possible. But he doesn't. He hasn't lotioned her up. Maybe he keeps her. Let's let's remove her from this picture. Well, okay. she's not probably not size fourteen as well. Which no, I was wondering why the, the size thing didn't. Make Hannibal sense. Lecter potentially. He is on the loose. And the FBI. Those were the five people who I thought they could have an impact on the outcome. Where are they, Freddie? We've got Catherine Martin. Yep. In a pit. Yep. Dog. Down in the pit. In the pit with her, being held hostage. Buffalo Bill, so he has had no issues shooting her. He's just shot he's her. He's just shot her in the back, in the basement. So he's fine. Yep. He's in his his world, his maze of, of misfortune. Yep. So you've got those three in Bill's house. Yep. You've got Hannibal Lecter. So by the end, is he in somewhere in Africa? So at the point where Starling died, mm-hmm. this is at least a day following the breakout from Memphis, Tennessee. Okay. I can also tell you where Bill's house is. Chicago. No. That's where the FBI is. That's where the FBI are. Where is Bill's house? Belvedere, Ohio. Ohio. So you have the FBI in Chicago. Mm -hmm. You have Catherine Martin, Precious the hostage, Mm -hmm. and Bill the murderer in Ohio. And you have... Uh, Anthony Hopkins, who broke out from prison is about uh, about at least a day ago in Memphis, Tennessee, which would leave you with the following map, no. Freddie. <laughs> you better be bringing this up on the video. Oh, it's coming 100%. up in the video. 100%. People are looking at it. So the FBI wow, are about seven hours away okay. by car. Just to give you, they wouldn't necessarily drive, but just to give you an idea of the distance, car. the FBI are seven hours away and Hannibal is 10 hours away. So... We know where the relevant parties are. We've got the FBI in uh, Chicago. We've got Bill and the victim in Belvedere, Ohio. And you've got Hannibal, who broke out from Memphis, Tennessee, 10 hours away, at least 10 hours ago. Mm -hmm. So the next question is, would Hannibal intervene? I think that he could intervene because it's been long enough for him to have made the distance. But do you think that he actually would come and intervene in this scenario? How would he know? He knew that he sent the FBI to the wrong place. He knew that Starling had the hint in the folder that he left her. So he knew that they were all going after Bill, like, at the minute, right now. He knows something's going on. But what was the hint in the folder? The hint in the folder was, don't you think that these random bodies seem a little bit random? And then he also said, what do we covet? We covet what we know very well or something. Yeah. Basically saying his first victim, he knew his first victim very, very well. So go to Belvedere, Ohio 
mm. where his first victim was. Right. So he sent, he basically sent her there. Yeah. Okay. So he knows that she's going but He there. knows she's in Belvedere. He knows Belvedere, Ohio, but he doesn't know that she's dead. No, 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 no. He doesn't, he, he doesn't go. I think if he was going to go, he went in the original film. Because he would have no reason not to. So unless he was like, I want to check Agent Starling's okay. And he did that without us being told about it. And then the next thing we know, he's off in somewhere, yeah. somewhere in Africa making a phone call. That's the only way he would ever decide to go. Yeah. To be keeping tabs. He, he, I, I thought that given he some of the behaviors that he showed in the film, he could just be crazy enough to do it for the for the kicks mm. he could go over, and i'm not saying intervene to protect starling i just mean would he be relevant to the outcome for Catherine martin we're trying to figure out if Catherine would survive and if hannibal shows up that's going to change the outcome would he show up but the only re the not the only reason why i'd show up but if he was going to show up in the film we watched where starling didn't die he had to have shown up in that because I don't think there would have been any yeah, other information yeah, yeah. he could have got. Yeah, I think that's true. He would just had to have been in both. He would just have been curious. Yeah. We, we, we've got motive. He could have just been curious and wanted to see what happened. Yeah. So he just might have, to play games. when it all went down and Starling did solve it and the FBI came, he might have been there in the background. But I think that he wouldn't. Oh, I think no I reason think to believe. I think he could, but there's no reason. And also he's on a mission to kill the prison warden. Like it's obvious he knew what he was going to do when he got out. Mm. And it would just be a crazy risk to take. So I think we can cross Hannibal out of the outcome here. So mm. the, the question that really remains now is either would Catherine have escaped by herself or would the FBI have managed to get there in time? I can't remember why, but I put question number three, would Catherine have escaped by herself first? Mm -hmm. i've got a little context so bill is probably in a bit of a panic frenzy because he's just killed an fbi agent he would know that eventually the fbi will follow her trail to his house so he'll figure out that he has to move eventually now the threat Catherine has against him is this i have your beloved dog in my arms which if you shoot at me i will shield myself with and i think given the almost straight down shot of the depth of the well that's a very real threat or if he does anything daft, she'll break the dog's neck. Mm. So that's the scenario that she has mm -hmm. managed to get herself into. Do you think that she was getting Put it out? in the basket? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, what are his moves? How desperate does he get? He knows that they are on to, he knows it's a matter of time. She's made it to him. The FBI are on their way. Yeah. He's got maybe optimistically a day yeah should we say yeah before they realize like let's be honest old um jack crawford is going to he was in contact with starling recently and then he's going to be no communication anymore yeah she was in belvedere ohio yeah. we need to go to belvedere ohio and work out where agent starling is probably happens less than a day yeah so he, he's not dumb no, he's careful and he's cunning. They said that in the film. He's, he plays things safe, so he knows what he's doing. So does he? Say, is he tied to this idea of I need I, I need this woman? Does he leave her in there? Well, but the dog's down there. So what for him? Yeah, dog's down there. How much does he care about the dog? <sighs> he looked pretty upset. He was when, very upset. He looked very upset when that dog got caught. Like so he was. He it's was, a question of how the risk for him is I think he would be like, the minute he kills Agent Starling, he'd probably take his, what suit he had, and just leave the girl. You think he would have left pressure well, he behind? Can't, I don't think he has enough time to, say he kills her. Yeah. He kills her just for the sake of killing her at that point. Yeah. He's shown he's actually not, he is, he does have emotion. Yeah. Like he's upset. When she is pleading with him, he is upset. Yeah. He wants to see her as an object. Now, then killing her for the sake of it because he wouldn't have time to do the necessary. He wouldn't have time to probably carry her out and take her. No. We'd see that as too much of a risk yeah. to get her out of that pit and then carry her in his van. And Somehow also all, with the, dogs all the evidence. Yeah. So let's say he says, I'm not going to kill her. Then it's like, I need to save the dog. So it's all down to is the risk of going down there, getting the dog, stay, save, you know, saving off yeah. this woman who, who he's saying is not going to kill. Yeah. 
is that worth it for him? And then he has to get back out. So is it go on the run straight away or somehow try to rescue his dog and risk getting caught? Is that basically the situation that he's got to decide in? But either of them, Catherine Martin survives. Would he ever just shoot her then? That was what you were just saying. I don't think so. I don't think he'd kill her for the sake of it. Because it's not going to... They've got, they've got all the evidence in the world on him, with or without Catherine Martin. So it's not like leaving her behind is going to risk him getting caught anymore because, like, they've got his house. They've got everything he's ever owned. They know exactly who he is. Yeah. And and it base, it's only based on that interaction they said about him wanting to view her as an object and then... He this would be killing purely in cold blood for the sake of killing because he would come to terms with the fact that I, he can't use her for his skin suit. And so there's the only yeah there's no benefit to him killing her. It would just be right. I'm going to kill her to kill someone. So does he go on the run or does he just give up and give her the phone and wait for the FBI? I think he probably goes on the run. Leaves the because pre- he's dog. still for him he's still got this. He probably goes on the run and takes a suit, takes his work, because that's yeah. not He would too sacrifice hard to carry. the dog for his Sacrifice work. the dog, sacrifice the the um bloody butterfly <laughs> whatever yeah, those yeah, are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um sacrificing a lot there. Big move. So the only reason I'd say maybe he'd kill her if you wanted to work out if you wanted to go through let, let's pretend okay the only way i could see him wanting to kill her is out of hatred yeah, for because he's like situation. he's in a situation where she's got his dog and also he'd have to he'll probably have to if he goes on the run he'll have to leave all of his like precious bloody whatever they're called um, moths moth yeah things and so maybe he just kills her out of spite he could and he in could. which case could the fbi ever get there in time well that freddy is the exact next question. Question four, could the FBI get there in time? So let's say for for, just for a moment, when we we reckon it looks like probably she's surviving from just her own situation Mm -hmm. with or without the FBI. The FBI know that she's in Belvedere, Ohio, right? Mm -hmm. They probably went out quite quickly. Do, do wait do they know that she's in belvedere ohio because you mentioned that she had a conversation with starling the only evidence that i found in favor of what the fbi know is when uh clarice figures it out she is having a conversation with a fellow fbi agent yeah. and friend ardelia map who she says belvedere ohio that's where i'm going but i don't remember them ever saying to crawford or anything like that I'm going to Belvedere, Ohio. I think let's give them as much benefit as out possible. So they go to that place, realize they're at the wrong place. Chuck, you know, oh, yeah. no, we've gone to Chicago. We're in the wrong area. Uh, Agent Starling's gone somewhere else. Crawford, let's say Crawford does fancy her and he's thinking about her and he thinks, I better check on Starling. Can't get hold of her. I can Why help don't with we that, track actually. Back? What's they that? they jump they start panicking and go in the actual film yeah when they realize they've been tricked they go into panic mode anyway right they're like oh my god what about starling okay so for whatever miraculous reason First they do they know that something's wrong with Catherine. so uh, then we've got starling, we've Clarice. got okay let's all the power of the fbi the the bloody detective you know, sup, supreme mm-hmm. let's presume they're supreme detectives yeah They've got all their resources. They're able to piece together quick. Jack Crawford is known to be a smart guy. Yeah. A, f- a smart fella, not a fart smeller. <laughs> and then we go, he pieces it together quickly. He calls her friend called, what's her name? Ardelia Map. He calls Ardelia Map. Very fitting for this video, I might add. <laughs> We've got a large, <laughs> a large Ardelia. <laughs> um, so he goes. Let's say they they work out that they're in Belvedere, Ohio, quickly, Mm -hmm. and with helicopters, with transportation, they would have to uh, they would have to mobilize local forces, wouldn't they? Jack Crawford isn't getting there in in time. Like, yes, of course they do that. Yeah, so they send the local forces, forces, but they they still. How quickly from Belvedere, Ohio, do they get to the exact address of Mister Jamie Gum? You've got you've got two nodes haven't you you've got how long does it take them to figure out belvedere ohio and then how long does it take them to figure out 
Jamie got or Jame, I think his name Jame, was. Jame, yeah. How long does it take them to figure out within Belvedere, Ohio, where exactly Clarice was? I, I think that it would take them a while to figure out Belvedere, Ohio. I think that the alarm bells would have to be raised high enough and loud enough that Ardelia Map, her friend, is made aware of Clarice's m- mm. missing in action scenario. Yeah. And then she would have to then have the intuition to go and volunteer that information. Yeah. And then they'd have to basically have this, they'd have to piece together what? Yeah. Because the, then they would go to Belvedere. Starling went yeah. to Belvedere. She went to the, the victim's house, yep. saw some pictures, which uh, were they relevant? Was it him taking them? Something like that. Anyway, that doesn't matter. Then she went to a friend and the friend pointed them to the, the dressmaker. The tailors or yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then she was like, I'll check that place. And that's where she went. And that's how she figured it out. And that's how she, so how long does it lot. take them once they figured out from our dealer map that she's in Belvedere? Let's which presume. God knows how long that's going to They must go on. So what, was, what was security footage like in those days? When was it set? Was it set when it was recorded? Let's was presume it's it set 91. Yeah. So maybe, pro- probably late 80s. So there's some. Oh, I didn't think about CCTV though. They might be thinking immediately we scour everything to see who she met. Okay. Who's this person? Even that takes a while though to get hold of all that CCTV. Minimum. And scan it. Minimum like what? Let's say half a day. So you need a, you either need somebody to scan, get lucky. The, so you need to figure out that she's in Belvedere. Then you need either main character level detective so like crawford mm. to be in belvedere to follow the paper trail the, the bread crumbs or you need somebody to manage to pull all of the cctv footage from belvedere ohio and happen to find her whereabouts mm. it's going to be a day at least before they get their best case scenario yeah okay so i think we can say that the death of Catherine martin is determined by James Gunn and whether he, if he out of spite or if, you know, in cold blood decides I'm going to kill her because she's ruined my life. It could be panic. The panic. That's another element. Would it be more dangerous to keep her alive because she would be able to drastically increase their chance of finding him? But that's the question is, would she actually be able to give them anything useful? I think with the ability they had for um, profiling at that point, my understanding of um, when my understanding is if someone has seen a person, Mm -hmm. they can give pretty uh, some very good um, artists. What were they called? The criminal artists, the people who write, do the sketches. Is it going to be a portrait? I don't know. Portrait artists. Something portrait. They, yeah. Anyway, no, but it's the ones who specifically work with law enforcement yeah, yeah, to, yeah, to, yeah, to yeah. get someone's, they basically ask them a series of questions that unlocks more and more information yeah. and then they, they create a profile. And they, ca- my understanding is they, they're usually pretty accurate. Mm-hmm. Well, some of them can be very accurate. So that, if he knows that, yeah, that is a massive risk. Yeah. So if he decides to go on the run, then... He, he probably kill kills her, probably gets over it and Would kills he be, her. Uh, the, que- the, the big question mark is about how he feels about Precious, the dog. Yeah, with that in mind, then it then becomes Precious. Yeah. So the, so the fate of Catherine Martin is determined by... Is James Gum a stand-up guy? Is, <laughs> is Buffalo Bill actually a sweetheart? Does he decide that... Uh, Catherine is too much of a risk to his getaway and his running away from the 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 the, the FBI to risk allowing to live for the sake of his dog's mm. life. I think it's on Catherine Martin. Is she able to prey on his heart? Is she able to basically? She did manage. She did a to bit for a while. That chink in his I think she well. needs to. If she can work around that rather than the mm. I hate you. Now, the big issue for her is she's gone from that ray of hope of having the FBI there. Not only that, but Clarice Starling say, you are safe. Yeah. And then she quite clearly hears her getting killed. Yeah. And then Buffalo Bill coming out. The panic that would set in after like beyond yeah. the, your worst nightmare yeah. of having that ray of hope after potentially resigning yourself to your fate. I mean, I don't think she's surviving this I reckon situation. She is Freddy. brown bread. I think. I think that, based on what we've said, we've decided that Catherine Martin 
would die. The FBI would not be there in time. Hannibal Lecter wouldn't be interested, yeah. wouldn't take the risk, so he wouldn't be involved. Clarice Starling would be dead. So it would be just down to Catherine Martin, Precious, and Bill to figure it out. And we reckon that Bill would not be willing to take the risk. No. And the panic and the fear of the moment would mean that bullets would likely end up getting fired. Mm. But what do you think? <laughs> Viewers, you've now heard all the evidence. Please let us know what you think. Do you think that Catherine Martin would have survived? Do you think that the FBI would have got there in time? Do you think that we're on something? Do you think that we've completely missed a mark? Please let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this, please feel free to check out our other videos. We've got some stuff coming up on uh, 500 Days of Summer, some more stuff on Silence of the Lambs, and Life is Beautiful. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Dave, thanks so much for listening. Cheers, Dave. Bye-bye.